And here we go, three rounds, featherweights inside the cage. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed officially 144 and three quarter pounds and brings into the cage tonight a perfect record that stands at six victories and no defeats. From Zurich, Switzerland, here is the undefeated Benjamin Brander. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in boxing and wrestling. At five feet eight inches tall, he weighed in 145 pounds. In seven professional fights, he has six victories and one defeat. From Bristol, England, here is Ned Naramani. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Nad Narimani in the black compression shorts. Benjamin Brander in the red board shorts. Narimani taking the center of the cage. Just like to point out, I've been kindly reminded on Twitter by one of our German viewers that also undefeated Cage Warriors veteran Martin Buschkamp is in the corner of uh, Benjamin Brander, so a lot of pedigree and grappling experience going on there. Two very strong corner teams and two very talented athletes inside the cage. Benjamin Brander, Nad Naramani. Naramani using the strikes to set up a takedown attempt here against the cage. I mean, that really has been his MO of what we've seen so far. Combining the boxing and the wrestling to put these takedowns together being very aggressive in doing so, but you can bet that Brander has the chops off his back to make life uh, a bit of hassle for Naramani once they're there. Already looking for the Kimura. It's going to be hard to get that double wrist lock to be too effective from half guard. It can be done. Naramani. Josh, finishing bonuses available for all our main card fighters tonight. All you've got to do to take home one of those checks is finish your opponent before the time runs out. Again, looking for this double wrist lock. Here's Brander, but Naramani staying so tight to the hips. You can see that right hand just hugging the hips of Benjamin Brander, not letting him get any kind of hip movement off. Brander giving up his back now. By doing so, able to get back to his feet. Again, looking for the double wrist lock in defense. If he can break the grip, he'll use it to turn Naramani. He's got to be wary of it, but at the same time, a good strong gable grip here. Should allow Naramani to get this one to the ground. We're going to climb to the back now. You can see how Brander is going to try and use the cage to put it between himself and Naramani. Cage Warriors 64, sponsored by LondonFightStore.com and IrishMMA.com. Here at London's Kentish Town Forum, Nad Naramani with the takedown. Yeah, just pulls the hips out, owns himself this top position. You can see immediately an open attacking guard from Brander. He's looking to get over on a hip. Naramani unceremoniously dumping him against the fence. Not much room to work here for Benjamin Brander. Now he's constantly searching for that arm. Back to close guard now. The Swiss fighter doing his level best to create a bit of space for himself in the bottom here, Josh. Trying to slide those hips out. Work yeah. to getting back to his feet. Yeah, absolutely. He's trying to trying to make some sort of frame, but he's not really making too many attempts to stand back up. He's trying to get in position to sweep. It's much more of a, a jiu-jitsu than a, a wrestling style of the fence. Naramani threatening the head and neck, though, and using it as a chance to try and take the back here. Good work, Nad Naramani here. 
And he's got the neck of Benjamin Branda. Branda immediately trying to strip the hand. This is tight, Josh. This could be it. Naramani putting the squeeze on Branda here. They're diligently working for the back here. He doesn't have hooks, but he has got the neck, and sometimes that is all you need. Just trying to clear. Well, good work from Branda in defense there, but he can't be too complacent. He did the hard work, and now he's let Naramani straight back in. Naramani putting the squeeze on again here, Josh. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to get the submission with one arm, so you can see Branda is fighting. That arm, he now hides it under his armpit. It's good defense there and very nice awareness. Naramani is turning into mount again, takes the back as Branda bucks and rolls. I'm really impressed with the ground control of Naramani here. We, just, we haven't seen too much of it before, and he's under the throat now. This one's tight, Josh. He grabs the bicep oh, to lock it up. Tight squeeze, and he's got the tap. And the submission. Benjamin Branda taps out. Nat Naramani with a huge submission win here at Cage Warriors 64. Impeccable technique on that choke, Josh. I've got to say, that is a performance that Nat Naramani needed. Not going to the judges, decisive, took out a fantastic prospect to Benjamin Branda. And I've got to say, he did it very comprehensively. He earned the takedown, dominated the top position, threatened the choke. What more can you say? Great performance from Nat Naramani there. And in doing so, Naramani goes down into the history books as the first ever Cage Warriors fighter to win a finishing bonus for his performance there. Naramani getting the job done, clearly very happy about it as well. Let's take a look at some of that action from this first round now. This is Naramani with the takedown, the double wrist lock attempt in defense from Benjamin Brando, but Naramani tried over and over again, eventually working his way to the back. And here was the finish, great choke for Naramani going after the neck there. And there's the submission, and we're going to throw this one to Joe Martinez to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 4 minutes, 53 seconds. Round number one submission by Rear Naked Choke for your winner from Bristol, England, Ned Naramani! Big win for Nad Naramani in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Yeah, great performance for him. Some very, very interesting fights in that division.